Okay, Dave Bennett here. We're in this abandoned house. If you look, you can see that there's some structural damage. Um, I'm standing on a pile of debris in the basement, but I'm actually here working on the kitchen sink. It has like a farmhouse. We call this a double drain board sink. And, and the porcelain uh, isn't that bad. There's some dirt here, but other than that, I think, it's, I think we're going to be able to save this, and I think this is going to run... You know, the $150, $200 range is what we're looking for here. And so I was having some trouble getting the plumbing apart, you know, since I'm working in the basement. And um, um, so I've been, I've been trying to get this plumbing apart and looking at the drain. Um, well, actually, here's, a, here's a, um, a nice porcelain soap dish that... Uh, these, there's a couple of weird things that I found in the sink here. But you never know what you're going to... You never know what you're going to find in these in these buildings. Um, actually, these these look like they are silver. Um, they're dated. They're Rogers brand. There's a date on it that says uh, 1881. I'm not sure if that's their actual date or if that is a patent number or something like that, but here's four spoons, you know, that, that could have some value. Now, we'll have them assess that probably an antique dealer, have them polished up and see what you've got. So, um, oh, wait a minute, hold on now. Um, make that eight, eight, eight spoons. So, that makes me want to, okay. So things have mixed value, okay? Not everything is super valuable, but who knows? Might be a collector's item, and we'll see. Um, actually, who cares about the sink? I'm just going to find out what's in the sink. What in the world? All right, okay. So now I'm really interested in what is up with these with this silverware. And, and we can, you know, now I'm not an expert in all of this. I just take it to people who know and find out, you know, what's the story behind this brand? Um, is, there, uh, is there a history behind it? Is it a collector's item? That sort of thing. And that's what we're going to, we'll find out in the next segment. Okay, and I'm keep, okay. So, I don't know, now whoever lived here apparently you know, use spoons and not forks and knives, because back then they didn't have forks and knives. They only had spoons. And that's why they're such collector's items. Okay. Anyway, I think I've got it all.